not want to waste any more of your time resulting the introducer is because said but before i do so i would like to introduce okay to remind you guys of our theme it came here to eat it closer than before. Um, some of you might have forgotten. Abang in time about Kaya was joining Namhlanje. Um, did you hear Kony? A week of prayer here to Namhlanje. In Jomoya, it was cool. Was that we are closer now to where we are going than we first believed. Yeah, right. This speaker said, "Okay, I believe that this song gets the amazi." Yeah. This speaker said, "To San Namhlanje." Or Mrs. Om Toto. Uh, most of you guys might know her as Om Mrs. Dombi Tandiki, but she is now married. Ne? Um, Mrs. Dombi Toto. She is a wife to Usiko Siko Toto. Uh, very familiar familiar once again to Abandu Wase Bai and to Abandu Wase Forte Usiko Blas Ndombi. Ndombi, we all know her as Om Mrs. Broken Cry Ones. Ne? When enjoy the Yakai Tanda, your Islamic Pusilla on a Russia on the eighty broken crayons still can. She's a preacher, you guys. She's a preacher. She prides herself in serving the Lord. She has a dying passion for young people as well as their development. And she's, she currently serves as an ambassador. Hey, Joga. These people are in high places. She currently serves as an ambassador director at a local church. I believe in some monthly church. Um, I would like to welcome this because it is an Akshanje. That is where I will end now and I will give the platform to you. But I got it. Thank you very much. Nomi. Nomi. Before I get started, am I audible? Like on Diva Gatli? Yes, you have a garden. I'll call Echo. No, everything is good. Okay, perfect. Before I get started, I greet you all in the wonderful name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I don't want to waste time. It's people's daughters and idata idurubetuna. So I'm just going to get to the point. And a lot of people know me from PE. Um, I get to the point. If you miss it, I am very sorry. But the nicest thing is that um, it is recorded. You can be able to watch it on live Facebook again. So I would like us to go to our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 8, verse 5 to 11. We will go to Luke chapter 8, verse 5 to 11. It reads as follows in my Bible. A sower went out to sow his seed, and he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it trembled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on the rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. But others fell on the good ground, sprang up, and yielded a crop hundredfold. When he had said these things, he cried, He who, hear, he who, who has ears to hear, let him hear. Then the disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And he said, to you, it has been given to the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest, it is given to the parables that seeing that may not see and hearing that may not understand. Now, the parable is this. The seed of the word is God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. I'm so used to hearing that. Amen. But times change. You say, Amen. Amen. But if you sing the seed is the word of God. Maybe that my topic may be that. But since I am speaking to youth, we can say hashtag seed me with the word of God. So I can be closer than before. As you can see that my topic go like it's in it's connecting with the theme for today. So let me say it one more time. 
Hashtag seed me with the word of God so I can be closer than before. So basically, this is a story of a parable, a balisai. So it says, it draws a picture, basically there's four different types of seeds. There's four different types of seed and it lands on four different types of seeds. They mute themselves if they can. Thank you very much. So basically, this is a parable, like telling a story. So there are different types of soils. So the, the sower tosses his seed and it lands in four different types of soil. So what I will be speaking about today is four different types of soil. So the picture that we get from the book of Luke chapter 8 is that, that the sower just tosses the seed so willing here, here and there. So he doesn't really care iwapi napi. But this also reminds me that he's basically wasting seed. But if you think of long time ago, like Abantubakdala, they used to put seeds in a bag of plastic and they would just throw seeds nobakupina. So coming closer to what I'm going to speak about today is the different types of soils. So soil number one is the beaten path soil. So the ground is hard and well traveled and the birds come and eat it up. Soil number two, which is the rock soil. So the soil next to the beaten soil or the edge of the field, which contains of rocks and stones. So plants can grow there, but they are always sickly and stunted because the numerous rocks do not allow the soil to soak up the rain. Water just runs through. It is like a sieve. Soil number three, which is the thorny soil. We call it weed invested. You, you all know how it is difficult for any type of soil to grow here in this soil. So basically there are thorns, there are thistles, and weeds seem to grow like 10 times more than the seed that is planted. So they suck up all the moisture and the nutrients of the soil before anything else can get them. And sometimes the weeds are noxious that they kill everything around them the fourth soil well watered full of nutrients the seed that is spread on it only grows but produces 100 times as much as the harvest the abundance of the harvest is a testimony to the riches of the soil so when you look at verse 10 it basically says he who hears let him hear so i am going to point out a few questions and then i'm going to get to the soils and then i am going to close as I told you that I am not a long preacher, I get to the point and I hope you do get it. So it says, the question that I pose to you today is that, do you have ears to hear? Do you know what Jesus is talking about? Do you see and understand this parable? Most people think that they understand this parable, but I am convinced that most of you do not. And then when we look at verse 9, it says, Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And verse 10 is answering verse 9. It says, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to the rest it is given to the parables that seeing they may not see and hearing may not understand. So the lesson that I'm trying to bring to you guys is that there are some who will see and hear, but they will not truly see or understand what is Jesus is speaking about. They may praise him and, and hear about his creativity and how he preached. They may be amazed of his, the, all the signs that he did in the Bible, but they may not know him. So when you look at Luke chapter 8 verse 12, it says, it's, it basically says that those by the bayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their 
hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. So the word of God is taught and represented by the four different types of soil. It says the fact that the seed is spread all over the place without regard to where it lands, it's typically of the way God represents his word around the world. Have you noticed that God doesn't really care where his seeds land? He just wants to spread it all over the world. If you think about it, the word of God is speaking about internationally in Africa, in South Africa. For example, let me come closer to us. I am in PE, Omuse We are all speaking about the same God. We are speaking about Jesus. You always hear about God and Jesus on the radio. People want to hear it on television, on podcast, on YouTube. Today, we're even speaking about the word of God via Zoom. So the word of God is not like a lazy bean directed only on a few people whom God knows are ready to receive it. No, the word of God is scattered willingly here and there just like the parable. So God doesn't have to buy the seed. It is free. So if you want the seed, it's like free. He's got an infinite supply, so he might as well cover the whole world. Hence, you would find that in USA, in South Africa, like even in Africa, they are speaking about the same God because God has scattered all the seeds that he wants to scatter. So let me go close. Let me go back to this to the seeds again, and then diaval. So the first soul represents the path soul. So people who do not respond to the word of God at all, if they hear, it goes one ear and then it goes to the other ear. So it also happens, unfortunately, to a lot of Christians. If we just go away without hearing, understanding and believing or acting upon the truth of the word of God, which means the devil is stealing the word of God in your heart. Sorry to say this, but in Jalom Dasekai. And the saddest thing is that we've been through COVID and this, like a lot of people, even fall under this soil. So if you do identify yourself in this soil, because closer than before, actually, actually seed me up so I can be closer than before. So the next seed, seed number two, it is the rocky soil. Both Christians and non-Christians fall under this soil. Hear the word of God and then initially believe and act upon it, but then stop a short while. Even a lot of Adventists fall into this like category because like and then we just stop believing in God. So basically it represents life under spiritual pressure. Pressures with falling into sin. Pressures that leads them to stop believing in God. Faith is lost in this category. Also, this soil is promising. But since they do not take care of the sin issues of their lives, they fall away. So the lesson for the second soil, if you do fall under this soil, pray that you do not fall into temptation. Don't put yourself into tempting situations. Sometimes you know that actually my issue, for example, is that I'm weak around men. But you will always go into rooms where you know that actually in Dizowa, I will fall into sin. So if you know that it is your temptation, don't draw closer to that temptation. Run away from it. When faced with temptation, look for the way of escape that God has promised you with. So the third soil, which is the thorny soil, this one stings. Christians fall here. We go to church because we should. We read the Bible when we can. When I have little time, or is in Zambi right? And for my sevens, or kundi amba right? Ebo min bami chomi zamzi Oh, let me go back to God. That's the only time you know God. So when things are okay, you forget about God. But is in You you forget to give. You forget to go back to the seed, which is the word of God. So if you fall into this category, pray because you just pray, my sister. Listen, just as rock soul, pray about your cares, riches, but ask God to keep the balance if you find yourself spending too much time in other pleasures. Because at the end of the day, our God is a jealous God. So don't let the thorns of your life choke you. 
And I feel like sometimes izindoza lapem klabeni they do choke us and we forget about God. Unbone sen city papa nengalun tana zelemda se kai this and that and that. But deliba leba I am being choked by the sin that I was doing yesterday, and there is no way I will be able to draw closer to God because I am in the thorny soil. And then the last soil, which is the good soil. This is the soil that we all want to fall part of, is, is what God wants all of us to become. But none of us become like this automatically. It takes hard word and patience. So first you need to hear the word of God. If you do not hear, you won't bear the fruit. If you do, if you are not feeding yourself daily on scripture, every single day you will not produce fruit at all. So to move past the first soil, if you do fall apart, like part of the categories, I am giving you a solution. I do not preach and, I, and then I don't give a solution. This is my solution. So to move past the first soil, you, you must believe that God's word contains of instruction for life and godliness. To move past of the second soil, you must get rid of the besetting sins that wither away your soul. And to move past the third soil, you must exchange the physical and worldly pursuiting you from the spiritual and only then you will become fertile soul so you can be able to bear fruit. So the question, as I've said, I'm not a long preacher. What I say to you is that, which seed are you? And if you do fall part of the categories that I've said, which is the first soil, the second soil, the third soil, the fourth soil, what are you willing to do in a week of prayer? So before I end, hashtag seed me up with the word of God so I can become closer than before. So before I end, everyone does know me that I always say this. You were made to do great things because broken crimes still color. So as broken as you are, you are still useful to God. And this is one thing I love about God. He loves using broken people. And the beauty about 2020, as much as we've lost Abazali, even loved ones or whatsoever, but it has drawn us closer to God. It has drawn us closer to the seed. And the beauty about God, it doesn't matter whatever seed that you must fall into, he doesn't judge. He will welcome you with love. So I'm here to remind you that as broken as you are, you can still be able to bear fruit if you seed yourself up with the word of God. So seed yourself with the word of God and know that broken people are very useful to God. So for me, something that I always say to people is that a broken cry is still the same as a full color and it still colors beautifully. And the weirdest thing is that imagine if we're that we are not broken crimes at all. We would not be able to stand in front of people and say that and let me close up and say that I am just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can heal everybody. All I'm going to say is that hashtag seed yourself up with one of the souls today so you can become closer to God because at the end of the day broken crying still color and then I will end with this that you will be able to do many great things but only if you allowed yourself to be held by God then you'll be able to color. So as broken as you are, Mdasekai, I do not know Ulala Ngenyembezezinjani. But all I'm here to say today is to give you hope that Utiko Kona, Utiko Vil, Usfilis Kalosako. And the beauty about this is that Uzak Pendula. So do not give up. Like draw closer to the word so that you can be able to say in front of people that so when I walk, I don't need to speak about God, but needs to show that I'm a walking Bible. I don't need to say to people that I'm an Adventist, I'm a Christian. Just by the way I walk, the way I talk needs to show that. So do not give up. Because at the end of the day, as broken as you are, you are still useful to God. Amen.